I love to sing in my music room. We love to dance and whistle too. We love to sing in my music room. We love to play and play. that you're here. Let's sing our hello song. Everyone grab your shakers or clap your hands. Ready? Hello, my friends. Hello, my friends. How are you today? Hello, my friends. Hello, my friends. Now it's time to play. Hello, hello, hello to you today. Yay! Good job, friends. Today in Sarah's Music Room, we are talking about banging a drum. What? Banging a drum? What does that mean? Well, specifically, we are going to be talking about percussion instruments. Can you say percussion? Say it with me. Percussion. Good job. Now, last week in Sarah's Music Room, we talked about making music, like singing a note. La, la, la. Right? But did you know that there are other ways to make music too, like making percussive sounds with percussion instruments? Those don't really make notes or pitches, but they are part of making music. Now, one of the first percussion instruments you ever heard of are your hands. That's right. Your hands make percussive sounds like this, right? Clap your hands with me. Bang a drum, bang a drum. Bang, 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 bang a drum. Yes, clapping your hands is a great way to make music and make percussive sounds. Now, you can also pat your thighs. That's another way. Let's do it. One, two, three, four. Bang a drum. Bang a drum, bang, 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 bang a drum, <laughs> yay! All right, let's take a look at some of the percussion instruments in Sarah's music room. Well, sometimes I like to use the ukulele, the body of the ukulele as a percussion instrument, and I just bang on it like this. I can say, shakers of course the shakers have little beads inside of them that go against the sides of the shaker and make the shaking sound mm -hmm. of course we've got our good friend the pellet drum or spin drum now like other drums it has a membrane that's stretched across it see on both sides it's got these little looks like seeds and this string here and when you spin it it hits against the drum. Bang a drum. Bang a drum. Bang, bang, bang. Bang a drum. Woohoo! <laughs> now we've got our tambourine. Remember this from last week? You've got a handle and these little jingles here. And you shake it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah! And some of my favorites, these two little sticks. Now you can ask your grown up to find you two sticks that you can bang together, just like this. Now, let's pretend 
hmm, that it's time for your nap. Now you always take your nap when it's time for your nap, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But, so it's time for your nap, but you're not tired. You wanna play. There's so much day ahead and you wanna keep having so much fun, but especially banging a drum. I'll show you what you can do. You can take a pillow, mm-hmm, ask a grown-up, take your sticks, watch this. You can be really quiet. One, two, three, four. Bang a drum, bang a drum. ready for your nap. Some percussion instruments actually do make notes or pitches. I'm going to show you. This is what we use when it's time for our songbook, remember? It's called a glockenspiel. It's got two sticks. These are called mallets. See, they have a ball on the end of them. I'm going to just use one. And you strike these little metal panels here, and each one produces a note. Let's sing our major scale using the numbers one through eight. Ready? Here's our first number. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yay, you did it. That is the glockenspiel, and it is a type of percussion instrument that produces notes. Now we've talked about our hands and our thighs and using other things that we can make drum sounds with, like sticks. Mm -hmm. Did you know that there is a percussion instrument called spoons? What? Spoons? That is right. So friends, I'm gonna show you, I am not a professional spoon player, but you can try this at home with the help of a grown-up. You just take two regular spoons, make a fist like this, and you put one spoon just like this. Like, this is not how you eat with the spoon, but you hold it nice and tight. Then you take a second spoon that looks exactly like the first spoon, and you wanna put it up against, see? How it's up against, it's not facing together. They're not spooning, but they're facing opposite each other. And you put it in this finger and you match them up. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna sit on the Sarah's music room couch. So you sit here and you just use it to pat your thigh. Hear that? Clicking noise. That is a percussive sound Mm-hmm. And a lot of spoon players will hold their hand like this and they hit one down and one up. One down and one up. One down, one up. Let's do it a little faster. Bang a drum. Bang a drum. Bang, bang, bang. Bang a drum. So even faster. Bang a drum. Whoa. Bang a drum. <laughs> bang, bang. Drum. Yay! That's just one way to play spoons. You can always have a grown up help you look for a tutorial. There's lots of great materials out there. I have one more percussion instrument to show you, so I've got to get ready for it. I'll be right back. Hi, everyone. All right, this is called a cajon. Can you say cajon? Yay! Great job. A cajon is a box drum because it's shaped like a box. Take a look. And it comes from the country of Peru. It's actually Afro-Peruvian. Now, the cajon player will sit on top of the drum with their hands, and I'll show you in a moment, and hit this front of the drum. It's got this sheet of wood here that you hit, and then sound comes out of the sound hole. Remember the sound hole? The ukulele has a sound hole too, and lots of stringed instruments have sound holes. This type of drum has a sound hole too, right in the back. The sound comes out of the back. Now let's turn it back around, and I'm gonna sit on it and show you how it's played. So, just like a box. 
I use my hands, my fingers are like little sticks, and I pat the drum. Count with me to four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Bang a drum. Bang a drum. Bang, bang, bang. Bang a drum. <laughs> Friends, that was so much fun looking at the cajon drum and seeing how it works and how it's played. Now it's time to sing our I love you song. So this is the part of Sarah's music room where you tell someone I love you. I'm first gonna tell my mom that I love her. Ready? today is Spoon by Amy Krauss Rosenthal, illustrated by Scott Magoon. This is Spoon. This is Spoon's family. On Sundays, Spoon goes to visit his Aunt Silver. He has to be on his very best behavior there. Goodbye, darling. Ta-ta. At bedtime, Spoon likes to hear the story about his adventurous great-grandmother who fell in love with a dish and ran off to a distant land. Lately though, Spoon had been feeling blue. What's wrong? asked his mother. You look a bit bent out of shape. Nothing, mumbled Spoon. It's just that, I don't know. All my friends have it so much better than me. Like Knife, Knife is so lucky. 
He gets to cut. He gets to spread. I never get to cut or spread. Yes, knife is pretty spiffy that way, isn't he? And Fork. Fork is so lucky. She gets to go practically everywhere. I bet she never goes stir crazy like I do. Fork does get out and make herself useful, doesn't she? And chopsticks, they are so lucky. Everybody thinks they're really cool and exotic. No one thinks I'm cool or exotic. Those chopsticks are something else, aren't they? Meanwhile, if only Spoon knew what his friends were saying at that very minute. Spoon is so lucky, said Knife. He's so fun and easygoing. Everyone's so serious with me. No one ever, no one's ever allowed to be silly with me like they are with Spoon. Hmm. Spoon is so lucky, said Fork. He gets to measure stuff. No one ever does that with me. Spoon is so lucky, said Chopsticks. He can go places by himself. We could never function apart. That night after bedtime stories, Spoon's mom turned off the light, tucked him in and said, you know, Spoon, I wonder if you realize just how lucky you are. Your friends will never know the joy of diving headfirst into a bowl of ice cream. They'll never know what it feels like to clink against the side of a cereal bowl. They'll never be able to twirl around in a mug or relax in a hot cup of tea. Spoon hadn't thought of it that way before. He lay awake in bed for a long time. His mind was racing. He felt so alive. There was only one thing to do. I can't sleep. Come, Snuggle. Come, Spoon. And so he did. The end. Friends, I had a wonderful time in Sarah's music room with you today. I hope you did too. Let's sing our goodbye song. I think today, instead of using our shakers or clapping our hands, let's use our sticks. Ready? Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, my friends. We had fun and we played. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, my friends. Now it's time to say goodbye, goodbye, goodbye to you today, yay! See you next time.